Hello, welcome to my classroom here at Patchwork Cutters. Today I'd like to show you basic brush embroidery. The cutters I've chosen to use um, is our large Christmas rose set and I'm going to use the flower and the two leaves from this set. They're a no nice open design and it'll be very easy to use with brush embroidery. You will also need a damp cloth, a small amount of sugar paste, water and a small palette knife, a piping bag, small scissors and a number three piping nozzle, a number six paintbrush and then when the brush embroidery has dried you'll also need some white luster dust, a dusting brush and some edible pearls. So to mix the icing we're going to need a small piece of the sugar paste just to make it pliable and then we're going to add some water so with a small palette knife begin to work the water into the sugar paste and keep paddling the paste until it is nice and smooth the icing should have a nice shine to it. So just add a little more water so the icing is now nice and smooth and that will pass quite easily through a piping bag so I'm going to take the water away, a piping bag, cut the end from that and pop in a number three piping nozzle, making certain the nozzle is well clear of the paper. And then gather the icing and place that into the bag and then fold down both sides and the top and that makes a nice pad to push against so that you have full control of how much icing comes out of the bag. So here I have a practice board and I have embossed the flower and the two leaves into the icing and then I would leave that to dry before I do the brush embroidery. You would do the same thing on the cake that you would be working on and on here I have embossed the two flowers and the leaves, three leaves top and bottom, but what I've also done, um, I've embossed part of the leaf into the icing, so by pressing just on the end of the cutter and one on the other side, the leaves look as though they are behind the flowers without actually marking the, the petals themselves. So for the brush embroidery, um, it's quite a good idea to mark a little hole in the centre of the flower and all the brush strokes will head towards that hole. And you start off by piping a line of icing onto the embossed outline. And then I'm going to take the brush, now you always keep the brush damp so you can take the excess off on the back of your hand and you also uh, don't allow a build up of icing on the brush and you start in the centre and you pull the icing down towards the centre of the flower take off any excess paste or any excess icing and always keep the end of the brush clean. You would turn and work the second petal. So again, pipe around the outside edge covering the embossed line. And because this is the longest brush stroke, I do add a little extra icing there. And that lays next to the first line, not on top of. So it's always in front of there, but they, they do really need to touch. And again, 
brush half of that pipe line down so that you leave a thickened edge brush you can see here I'm just getting a little bit of icing on the end of my brush so into the water take off the excess moisture and continue down towards the center of the flower and I'm going to go around the top it is important to cover that embossed line if you if your piping doesn't cover it then use your damp brush to push it into place and again long sweeping strokes down towards the center and the next one a little extra at the top clean the brush take the excess moisture away and again drag that icing down but do leave not only a thickened edge but also a thickened line between the petals so that it doesn't look like one large flat flower it does separate the petals from each other and then the final petal will go around like so and again start in the center and work out to the left and to the right with nice long sweeping strokes and don't be afraid if you think you've got too much icing don't be afraid to remove it from there I can just see a little embossed part of the pattern so I'm going to push the icing into that so that you can no longer see it and for the leaf I'm going to pipe along one side and then because this is going to be my longest brush stroke again a little extra down halfway down and follow the line of the veins so you're not going across the leaf you're going down towards the base of the leaf like so and then you pipe the opposite side again covering the embossed outline and brush this down again towards the base of the leaf and the opposite side a little extra at the top damp brush, clean damp brush brush that down towards the base the opposite side and just nice and slowly you push that icing where you want it to be and again if you think you have a little too much don't be afraid to remove it and check that you cannot see the embossed line around the outside edge and that will be left to dry now if you are doing the um, pattern on a large cake I'm only going to explain this a little bit I'm not actually going to work it but the two leaves that appear behind the flowers, uh, they're the ones you would begin with. So you would outline and brush exactly as I did on the sample piece, um, but you would do those leaves before the flowers. They are in front of the leaves, so they are completed um, after the leaves have been brushed. So this is how the brush embroidery will look on a round cake and I have completed the leaves and the flowers on this one. Now to highlight the detail I'm going to use the white satin and I have a water brush but I'm going to use it dry. It's a nice flat brush and I'm just going to use a little of this just onto the embroidered part of the 
design around the outside edge and as I say this will highlight the strokes in the sugar. You could use um, a different colour if you wanted pink flowers and green leaves you could be brushing this with um, your, in your chosen colours but I'm just going to use the white satin So once this has been completed, um, I'm going to put some edible pearls in the center of my flowers. So I'm still using the softened sugar paste to attach them, so a little ball in there. You could pipe little balls of icing if you wish to and have a damp brush to tap any little points down. But I think the edible pearls look so nice. If you're unable to purchase any of these, then mold some little balls of sugar paste and pop them into a dish and then um, tip in a little of the white luster, shake them about and then you will have your own little um, edible pearls. And I think they look so pretty, a little cluster in the centre. So again, just spread them out and roll them into position. Oops. You can of course use tweezers to do this but I find it much easier to actually just use your finger. Right. And then I'm going to place this onto a turntable because I'm going to pipe around the base of the cake in white and I'm going to use again the softened sugar paste that I've used for the brush embroidery and starting um, holding the piping nozzle onto the sort of the join of the board and the cake and you squeeze and pull down squeeze and pull down and continue around the cake this is also a nice way of um, piping. If I wanted the blue to match the cake, then I could let down some of the blue icing with water and pipe that around the base if you wanted to pick up the exact shade. But I think the white against the blue looks very pretty. So I'm going to uh, use that. Continue around the cake, and again it's with the number three piping nozzle. You'll notice that I am cleaning the nozzle, so don't let icing build up as you take that away, just wipe the end of the nozzle
if you do find you have little points appearing on your piping then just have the damp brush again just to knock down any of those little points and this design also looks good on cupcakes so here's one that could sit alongside at the party and you could have a selection of the uh, the cupcakes